So I was just looking on YouTube and noticed something a YouTuber said that stood out to me that I want to challenge. So part of what it said is the following. It truly comes down to how well you master these. Self-love, eating food made by nature, exercise, sunlight, and sleep. Once you get good at these, your life falls into place so easily. This is putting conditions on your desires. It is saying to yourself that until I get all these things right, I can't have the life that I want. That's bullshit. I used to limit and restrict myself of foods thinking that I must eat this, 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 and this in order to be healthy. That I must do this, 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 and this in order to feel good, that <clears throat> I must restrict myself of dairy. I can't eat gluten because it's eh, it's gonna cause inflammation in my body. Um, I have to get this many hours of sleep. I need to dim all the lights in the house after the sun has set and be really quiet. Oh, and I gotta make sure that my phone is not in my room. It needs to be very far away or at least six feet from the bed or I need to make sure that everything's on airplane mode, even better, I need to disconnect the router so I don't have EMF frequency energy affecting my brainwave state when I'm sleeping. Or, you know, I need to go out and I need to stare at the sun for 10 minutes in the morning to be healthy. Uh, all these things I need to do first and then I'll be healthy. How about the state drives you? If you believe that you are truly healthy and you figure out what implies health by how you use your mind, your body, your imagination, you will be naturally led to do things. Some people have imagined and nailed their scene and their state and didn't have to exercise, didn't have to do a single weight exercise. They exercised in their imagination and things happened accordingly. Maybe in another dimension, they're doing all their exercises and it's catching up in the 3D world. There's so much more to this than limiting yourself. Once you get these things good, then everything falls into place. Get your mind right. Connect within your body. Connect to your heart space. Connect with your gut, your three brains, head, heart, belly. Do that work, get that right, get this straight, get these connected and in harmony, and then things will happen. That is it. But remember, a belief, an assumption, though false, will harden into fact, as Neville said it in his own way. So if you truly believe that you need to do all these things first in order to have your desires and for things to just flow, that's how it's gonna be. But that sounds kind of icky and maybe not. Maybe some people are like, yeah, 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 that's natural. But nail your state, nail your scene, get really clear on what you want and it will drive you and it will guide you and it will lead you. But get out of trying to micromanage how it happens and get out of putting conditions on yourself. For one person, eating foods made from nature, I don't know, it depends what it is. What's made from nature? What I think and what you think and what they think is completely different. And for some people, eating salads may not be good for them, especially if they're being driven by a state of fear, like I once was. I was making these like crazy smoothies every morning, thinking anti-cancer, anti-inflammatory, prevent this sickness, prevent that sickness, prevent these diseases. And I had gut issues, like major gut issues. And I ended up with insomnia. I ended up with all kinds of crap from a fearful state, putting conditions on my desires. I would go on vacation and I would have to go completely out of my way to find the places where they only had these things and those ingredients were available. I would read labels and I would get cortisol I would stress myself out and I would go into fight or flight with food. Being in a kitchen, my body would go into fight or flight. I cleaned all that up and things are so different for me now. 
I can enjoy a bag of salt and vinegar chips if I want them. If I feel I have that desire, that's coming from a loving place. Self-love is honoring your desires, truly what you truly, truly believe and feel good having. That's self-love. And maybe you are someone that only needs five hours of sleep. There's people that like they sleep three to five hours and they're more energized radiant and glowing than people who sleep eight hours sometimes again we're all different state leads signs follow that's how it is so if you want to be loving towards yourself or more loving towards yourself honor your desires honor your desires and that is it and you know if you want to go look at the sun go ahead i do that from a loving place. I feel like going out and standing in mountain pose, and I, I don't really stare directly at the sun, but I connect with the sun. I love the energy. I love the feeling. And you know, we're moving into the colder months and I'm gonna soak up all the sun I can. <laughs> yeah. So I did wanna say your desires are divine in origin and honor that and notice what you're buying into from coaches and teachers and healers and guides and leaders, these social influencers. What are you letting in through your gate, through your conscious mind and planting in your subconscious? Buy into what you want and toss what isn't useful. It's called the take and toss method. You have the ultimate choice. You are the operant power. You are the one driving your vehicle. Don't let someone else do it for you. Don't believe that you can be easily influenced and swayed and think you need these conditions and limits first in order to have what you really want. It doesn't have to be that way. Trust me. And I say this from experience and I say this from my own experiences, clients, friends, other coaches. It's really good. It's really good. It changed my life and it can change yours too. I remember when I was a hypochondriac with body dysmorphia and I had irritable bowel syndrome and I had all kinds of other crap going on and I was going down a path of sickness and I'm glad I'm still here to share this with you guys. It's the truth. It's the law. You have the choice of what you want to accept and what you reject. You don't have to buy into what other people are saying. You have the choice. What feels good for you? What just, you just know inside of you, it lights you up, it warms you up. It's, it's exciting. Go for that. Thanks for listening and make sure you hit that like button, that bell for notifications and subscribe for more content. And there's a ton of really great videos here if you want to just check out something that might resonate with you. Much love, guys. See you next time.